everyone and welcome to another episode of From Canned Japan, where we show you how to make excellent dishes using canned fruit. Today we'll be making chicken pita with pineapple and mint salsa that your kids are absolutely going to love. To make these delicious chicken pitas, you're going to need some fresh chicken pieces, a packet of bacon bits, some corn flour to coat the chicken, vegetable oil for frying, some finely chopped onion, natural yogurt or mayonnaise, the juice from a can of pineapple rings, some whole grain mustard, about two tablespoons of brown vinegar, fresh mint, tomatoes, lettuce, canned pineapple rings, and of course, some pita breads. To start off this dish, I'm going to fry up some bacon with a bit of olive oil. So I just spread it along your pan. Right, I'm going to leave the bacon to get nice and crispy. And I'm going to coat my chicken in corn flour and salt and pepper. I've used skinless chicken breasts and just cut them into strips. Right, that's done. My bacon looks nice and crispy. I'm going to take it out and put it into a bowl. Now I'm going to fry the chicken in the same oil that I was frying the bacon in. While the chicken is cooking, I'm going to make the pineapple and mint salsa. For this process, I'm going to chop up five tomatoes with two pineapple rings, which come from my canned pineapple. These in my bowl. The pineapples are going to make the salsa nice and sweet. And now we're going to chop up the mint with the onion. Then add the mint and the onion. A bit of brown vinegar and some juice from the canned pineapple slices. You mix that together. It looks beautiful and colorful. Now I'm going to mix the mustard with some mayo and I'm going to use that as a salad dressing. Right, my chicken is done. It's looking brown and crispy. What I'm going to do next is heat up the pita pockets in the microwave for about 20 seconds, just to make them nice and soft so they're easy to cut through. It's amazing how versatile cans can be. With just a bit of imagination, your recycled cans can make fantastic storage holders in your kitchen. Use leftover material or paint to customize your cans and make beautiful utensil holders or vases for your next summer lunch party. Right, my pita bread is nice and soft. Now I'm going to cut through very carefully and gently with a sharp knife, open the pockets. And there you have it. Now I'm going to mix my pineapple and mint salsa together with the chicken and bacon bits. Then the mustard and mayo dressing. And then I'm going to mix it all together. Just makes it easy to be able to spoon the mixture into your pocket. That's done. Let's open it up. And spoon in the mixture. These make an absolutely delicious lunch. They look scrumptious. You can add just about anything to your pita bread. Just use your imagination and get inspired with canned fruit. That's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Until next time.